Hey, it's Skillbyte here. And I just got these Roland Light Smart 6 inch RGB CW LED recess lights. These things are awesome, and you'll see why. So they are dimmable. The light range from 2700K to 6500K. So that's a real wide range from your warm to your cold. And you can do 16 million colors. They support Google Home, Alexa, as well as Siri. So they are smart lights. So they are app and voice controlled. 13 watts, IC rated, airtight. I will show you that. Damp rated, so you can put them in the bathroom. Not a problem. 50,000 plus hours. All right, key things that we haven't talked about. Operating temperature, 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 Fahrenheit. So you can put these outside under an eave, but beware of the temperature range. They are suitable for damp. They will fit soffit all the way to double drywall ceilings. Oh, and they will clear joists. You don't have to worry if there's a joist right over where you want to put it. Beam angle, 120 degrees, uh, tunable, dimmable by app. And so let's look in the box. So to get the app for these, by the way, you can just scan the QR code, iOS or Android for your phone. Comes with a template, 6.1 inch hole is what you'll need, 155 millimeter if you're north of the border. On the so the manual will tell you based on the room, the spacing for the six inch lights, uh, the ambiance and the CCT for reference, that's the color temperature. Tells you how to connect them um, and it tells you how to connect. So if you're using the Smart Life app or if you are using Alexa or Siri, it's got all that in here on how to connect it. So there are junction boxes. I'll show you one when we do a practice install. And of course, you got the lights. By the way, there's the some of the specs on it, including your FCC, your Energy Star, your certifications. And there's the front. These things are so thin. In half inch drywall, they will clear the joist. It doesn't matter if the joist is coming across it. They're thin enough where they won't stick up through the drywall. And uses the clips to hold it in place and they're pretty sturdy so it'll hold them tight. So it has a gasket here. That is to keep moisture from coming up, but also air from coming through. So if the back of the LED light here is gonna be in an uninsulated area, you definitely wanna keep the gasket because that's gonna seal it and help with your energy e efficiency. So let me show you just how easy it is to install these. So here we have a piece of drywall that we're going to use for our mock install. You can see we have a light switch already and it is wired. So once you know where you want to put the light, you're going to need to cut a hole. You can use the template like I did here. And I just used, I marked around the template and I used a roto zip tool to cut around it nice and clean. Well, eh, it was kind of messy actually. But uh, you can also use a 6.1 inch hole saw if you have one of those or jigsaw, you know, there are several options. So we're obviously on the back side of the drywall. So this will probably be up above where you can't easily get to it. However, this does need to go up here. Now I've got a couple screws that I put in here to hold it. If your wire is long enough, you can do this from the other side. I'll show you here from the back side since we have easy access. So it has a knockout on the two sides as well as the top here. Just going to take a flathead, turn it, 
get that out of the way. You do want to use a junction box connector. You'll need to, this does not come with it. Then your wire, most likely 14 gauge. Check your codes. You'll just slide in here. And you will just connect the colors. For the most part, you have white to white. You know, you got to strip it back the right amount. If you need help with that, I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there. Uh, and by the way, green goes to the clear, the uninsulated ground wire here. Now we're going to pull that back. I like to maneuver the wires a little to get them so they'll lay flat. And tighten the connector. This so needs to be tight enough so that that cable can't pull out. So we're done with the junction box. So now you take the two cables here. It's got two little pins. You line up the slot or there's actually arrows. Plug that in. Screw that tight. So now from underneath, you got these little clamps, these spring-loaded clamps. And you're just gonna pop them in place. So now the wiring is done. So when you have the wiring all done, you're ready to turn it on. You'll need to flip the breaker back on. Let's see how it looks. There you go. It, I'm not sure what the default is. I guess I better read the manual. So you will need to download the Smart Life app. I'm not going to get into details on the app. Just follow the instructions, and there are plenty of videos out there if you need help getting it set up. It's not that bad. And the same with Alexa and Google and Siri. So as you saw, when you first turned on the lights, it'll go into that fast blinking mode, and that's simply the pairing mode. So when you first turn them on, they'll go into pairing, so you can then connect them to the app which will allow you to configure the settings. But I will show you some key features. You can still control it by the switch. So if I flip the switch, lights off, switch it again, lights on, and it remembers the settings. I had it off for 24 hours, still remember the settings. So if your primary use is just a regular light on a switch, yeah, you can still use it in that way or you can just use the control you know such as where you would say Alexa test off Alexa test on or you can do the same thing from the app pressing the button to turn it off and on the app lets you configure the settings so here's your cct your color temperature so we got 2700 k that's the warmest and we can go all the way up to 6500 k that's the coolest you can see the difference as far as dimming these will dim all the way down to one a lot of them won't dim all the way down so 
pay attention to that when you go to buy one make sure it's gonna make sure they're gonna dim all the way to one so quickly there is a timer so you could set it to where like if I go here and hit confirm it's gonna turn off in one minute so that can be handy you know you're going to bed or something you want to have the light stay on for 10 minutes while you're getting ready that type of thing color obviously you got red let's see there's a kind of a yellow it's a green maybe a cyan blue purple pink red and you still have the brightness so you can dim it all the way to one and you even i think this is a contrast maybe so you can kind of go from red to white there scene scene can be quite handy so scenes allow you to automatically set the lights to whatever the purpose is so if it's night uh, it kind of dims it a little bit if you're going to be reading it's going to brighten it up for working it's going to make it a cooler color so it's a little more detail you got leisure soft so soft is kind of rolling through and i'm not going to get into all these but color i want to show you a couple other things so i added a second light so i have test and i have test two I can control, I can turn one off or both. I have one on, the other one on. Or I can go to the test group and control them both. So here in test group, I can go to more, schedule. Now I've created a schedule. Turn them on so you can see them. So at 8 p.m., every day on at night I set it for on and then 6 a.m. same thing it's gonna turn them off so you can do schedule for whatever time you want for whatever group you want I don't actually want that to happen so <laughs> and let's see how the neighbors can enjoy you listening to music <laughs> they'll know something's going on so one thing I want to mention that I saw in the reviews, so Rolling Light says that you should have a maximum of 12 lights on a router. That is not a limitation of Rolling Light, that is a limitation of your router. So a 2.4 gigahertz router generally can only practically support about 25 devices. And you've already got phones you know, maybe a Roku or an Amazon Stick or your Alexa, your Google, you know, your other smart devices on, on it, your laptops, your iPads. So you've already got some on your router. They say 12 because if you add more than 12, you're probably going to reach the limit of that one router. You can add a second router, also called an access point, and that'll open it up to more. So again, it's not a it's not a limitation of the lights. It's a limitation of what of 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and the number of connections that it can practically support. I think I covered all the features as well as the basic installation of the lights. Now you can use these as just a clean looking switch or voice controlled smart light that allows you to set them to whatever brightness or color you want to use but you can also have fun with them like this and maybe your neighbors will enjoy it too to see the light show <laughs> anyway i hope that was helpful if so please like subscribe comment and good luck with yours so you want to know how well these will hold oh yeah. I was finally able to pull it out, but it was in there pretty tight.